Sorry to say, that one's the six. There's one thing you guys could have done better, Logan, in KSI. He's the food scientist that loves food and will put you in a good mood. It's Johnny Hardvark. He's the life of the party. We just got a really good workout in, and now it's time to hydrate. We're stopping at our local gas station get-go to see what kind of drinks they have for us. I can't wait to see what kind of prime drinks we're gonna find in here. What flavors are they gonna have? There's only one way to find out. Let's head inside. Prime, prime, prime. Where's the prime? Why are they a ha? Looks like we've got it. Looks like they're at a tropical punch. No, they're not. And they've got the ice pop, blue raspberry. Not the biggest fan of tropical punch, but you know we're gonna give it a try and see what it's like. Got the prime, folks. I cannot wait to take these home and get these back to the lab and try them out. All right, folks, we secured the primes. Now let's see which ones we can check off the list. Blue raspberry, pretty excited to try this one. Ice pop, I don't even need to say anymore. I'm not the biggest fan myself of the tropical or the fruit punches, but you know what? These things got really good reviews. Okay, let's try it out. Alright fam, it's time for our next stop. Let's see if we can't acquire more prime. We're at a classic buy off 7-Eleven called Speedway. Ooh, they got hot dogs. We'll save that for another time. Ooh, it looks like we've got two new flavors we can add to the list. And they're cheaper. Oh man, is this one of my Yes it is, strawberry watermelon classic? Lemonade. We already grabbed the popsicle one, so no need to double up. And that looks like it's it. So we just got the two new primes for us to try, folks. So happy, Thank so you. excited. Let's get these to the register, check them out, and then check them in. All right, we were able to find two new flavors to add to the collection. Lemonade and one of my personal favorite flavors, strawberry watermelon. I was excited to try this one as I am that ice pop one. If only they had a s'mores one. Oh man, it would be a wrap. All right, buckle up, safety first. Off to our next stop. So I've been on this workout journey for many, many years and that's the way that you gotta honestly do it. You can't really take a day off, you gotta Keep rhythm, keep consistent, and just, just keep on going. Just keep on doing it, really. I can tell you about how my weights fluctuated like a yo-yo going up and down over the years. But luckily, when you do work out, it comes with a lot of natural, healthy benefits. First of all, you just feel better. Your body releases these awesome things called endorphins. They basically just give you that sort of natural feel good, like, huh, I feel good. I did something good. I did something right. I accomplished something. And that's really all you can say. So working out is really helpful for me personally because it helps to boost my confidence. It gets my brain going in the right direction, and it allows me to focus on really cool science. I couldn't tell you how many cool strangers I've met at the gym who stop becoming strangers because we see each other all the time every day at the same time. We're all always working to better ourselves, become the best possible versions of ourselves. It's our third and final destination to see if we can acquire some more of that delicious prime. Let's go. Though it's a bit of a long shot, but I don't know if there's gonna be that much prime here. I don't know if they have that prime for us here. Let's go check and just ask somebody and see if we can. There's no cash here. Oh. 
Maybe this will do. This will do. I didn't have any prime, but you know, we got five whole bottles. Let's take them home. Now it's prime time. Logan Paul, if you're watching this, you're an inspiration to us all. And maybe one day if I keep working out, I can meet you in the boxing ring. 10 seconds left. Hey y'all, it's your boy Johnny Aardvark here, the food scientist that loves food, and it is prime time. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that little notification icon so you can stay up to date on all of our fabulous food adventures. Today, I'm here to talk to you about my struggle with food and how my weight has gone up and down like a yo-yo over the years. Growing up, I was always that kid who ate anything and everything in sight. And I mean, come on, I am a food scientist, so it does make sense. But it's important to stay healthy and to stay fit too. And that's what we're about today. These hydration drinks are gonna let us know about how healthy we can be while maintaining a good level of activity without loading up on a bunch of unnecessary sugars. You know, it was really tough growing up in my household. We always had all kinds of unhealthy and junk food sitting around. And I mean, come on, when you have that much food lying around, of course you're gonna eat it. It's gonna be your daytime, all time snack. But luckily I played football and it was able to help me keep my weight, at least in some kind of check because those workouts, let me tell you, they were intense. And you know, college was one of the best years of my life. I learned more about nutrition, health, food safety, all these great things that were able to help me build into becoming a really healthy young adult. It was awesome. I also lived with some of my best friends and we ate healthy, we worked out hard, and we stayed in really good shape, especially for all those light nights dancing down at State College. And luckily, after graduating from college, I was able to land myself a really good job in quality assurance at a chocolate company of all places. I mean, who wouldn't want to work in a chocolate company? But being surrounded by all that delicious caramel and marshmallow and s'mores, oh man, it was dangerous. And it definitely helped creep my weight up a little bit. Now, you know, it was tough because being surrounded by all that delicious chocolate made it really easy to pack on the pounds. Plus, I was on my feet all day, working these crazy long hours, and I had almost an hour commute both ways to work. Let me tell you what, that puts a lot of stress and struggle on you, and it can be easy to slip up and to fall backwards. But luckily, I've realized that I need to make the change back, and I'm on my way there. That's why I'm on this journey, and I'm happy to take all of you along with me as we learn more about food, science, fun, and fitness. Enough about me. It's time to get into the Prime. So today, to try out our Prime, we got all of the flavors that we had access to in our local area. We got delicious blue raspberry, one of my favorites, the strawberry watermelon, a really cool one, an ice pop. Really excited to try this out. Your classic lemonade, tropical punch. Not something I'm the biggest fan of. I'm not the biggest fan of fruit punch and tropical punch, unless it's Hawaiian punch. Unfortunately, one of the places we stopped at didn't have any prime beverages at all, but we didn't come away empty handed. I still found me some s'mores trail mix. They made it bulletproof. All right, it's time to bust out the big tools. I am so excited. Looks like we got, ooh, some almonds, little freeze-dried marshmallows it looks like, tiny little bits of chocolate, and ooh, small little graham crackers. Mm. Worth it. Just so you guys can get a little bit of a better preview of it. So here we got some almonds, tiny little graham crackers, tiny little bits of chocolate, and nice pieces of marshmallow. That's a nice little packet of trail mix. Only 380 calories in the whole thing. Not bad for a quick snack. Just kidding, that's a bit on the high side for a almost three ounce package. So there's marshmallows and chocolate. Luckily, these almonds help offset it a little bit. Mm, delicious. Now, this company was actually founded by two famous YouTubers, Logan Paul and KSI. And honestly, both of them do way too many things for them to be categorized in one category specifically. But I bet they're both happy campers because their company got bought by Coca-Cola for $10 billion. Imagine how many s'mores I could buy with that. I need more of the s'more! All right, now it's time to try the prime. We're gonna start off with blue raspberry. Let's see what this blue raspberry tastes like. Ooh. That's 
tasty and refreshing. And only 25 calories? A plus. Very good, solid flavor. It's not very blue though, but who cares? That's just added food dyes we don't need. Mm. Boy, that sure is hydrating me after a nice hard long workout. I can't wait to try the rest. On a scale of one to 10, I'd probably give this a solid seven, even an eight. It's pretty hard to compare it to anything. It's also got coconut water. All right, next up, we've got strawberry watermelon. I'm real excited to try this one because I love these flavors. Mm. Not bad, a little bit sweeter than a blue raspberry. Still has that sort of similar color and texture. Oh, it's pink. That's a lot of electrolytes. That's a really good color right there. And the flavor, pretty good. This one for me would be a solid eight. Just because I love strawberries and watermelon. Now let's get down to the simple science of electrolytes. They're like your body's little helpers going ding, 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 ding. Doing all kinds of things from helping keep you hydrated to telling you when you need to get hydrated. Kind of like superheroes. Doing everything from keeping you hydrated, keeping you alive, to managing and regulating things like your heart and muscles. The thirst signal is one of the key aspects of this. It's when your body tells you, you need to drink some water or you're going to pass out. They basically say, hey, we're going to help regulate that water. We're going to make sure that you're sweating and keeping in what you need and what you don't. Now, cool fact, these prime drinks actually contain coconut water, sometimes called nature's sports drink. Now, they call it that because it's rich in electrolytes like potassium, sodium, and magnesium, those things that I'm sure you've heard of before. But they're still really confusing because who the heck knows what sodium is supposed to do and potassium and all this other stuff. Basically, they try to regulate the water levels of your body, and they basically allow your muscles to do everything from contract to keep your heart beating. It's really cool. Here's a cool fact. Did you know that astronauts in space have to carefully monitor their electrolyte intake? Without gravity, bodily fluids can start behaving all kinds of crazy ways in microgravity environments. Maybe one day I can even make it to space, and I'll take some prime hydration drinks with me. On to the next flavor. We've got that coveted ice pop I've been so eager to try. It's just like an ice pop. That's easily a nine, maybe a 10 even, because man, it really does taste exactly like an ice pop from my childhood. Mm, that's amazing. And for 20 calories, it's actually got the lowest amount out of the bunch. These two surprisingly enough have 20 calories while these three all have 25. That's insane. And now it's time for your classic electrolyte beverage drink, lemonade flavor. That's pretty good. That's easily another nine, maybe an eight. I'm missing the sugar almost from it. Sad but true, we all grow up addicted to those sweet, sweet sugar molecules. Hmm. I got a crazy idea here. Let's take a little bit of this lemonade. We'll pour it in with our strawberry watermelon and see what we get. That's an extra kick. Wait a second. Got it. Blue raspberry lemonade. Boy, it sure is prime time. And we got one final one to review. Tropical punch. Sorry to say, that one's the six. So we're definitely gonna stick with ice pop. That's definitely gonna be a number 10. Lemonade. For sure, easy nine. Strawberry watermelon, another nine. We'll give the blue raspberry the eight to round out the bunch. All in all, really good quality products actually right here. All right, now I know you guys wanted to see this, so here it comes. Ooh, that's got a kick to it. I 
can really taste all those electrolytes. They're getting to work. And you know, I think luckily enough, this ice pop came to dominate the entire glass, which is great by me, because this one sure is good. That's why it's in this lovely package. Mind you, all of an ice pop. I don't really have many complaints about these drinks. They're tasty, they're low calorie, and they're pretty darn good, honestly. But there's one thing you guys could have done better, Logan and KSI. Y'all could have made a s'mores flavor. Oh man, y'all know me. I need more of that s'more. Oh no, we're out of marshmallows. That's all right. We've got these delicious almonds packed with all kinds of healthy omega-3 fats. <laughs> these tiny, cute little graham crackers. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all know me. I always need more of that s'more. Overall. I really would recommend these drinks. They're low calorie, low in sugar, and they pack a great punch for post or during workouts. I really do love the flavors. I love the packaging. I love the whole product, honestly. And thinking about it, Logan Paul could actually become friends. I mean, who knows, the sky's the limit, right? You know, we really did have a lot of fun today reviewing these drinks. I'm really glad for the experience. So thanks for watching my Aardvark fam. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, click the little bell notification, and stay up to date on all of our wonderful food adventures. This is Johnny Aardvark, signing out.